contemplate our future, to live up to our dream, we must have vision. We as a people will revive our nation's commitment to faith, to what our constitution calls the free exercise of religion, including, of course, prayer. Christ is king. Christ is the true king of Israel. Christ is the king of all kings. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you are wrong. And anyone that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ should not be in control or any influence to anything that America produces, be it media, technology, politics, farming, medicine, prisons. If you do not believe in Christ and you're not following Christ in the decisions that you make, you should have no influence on that. Because it's talking about protecting your kids from the indoctrination of the media. The thousands and thousands of images that are fed to children by the age of six or seven. And within those images, there are images mixed in that we don't know about as parents that are purposely mixed in to lower the kid's superpower and esteem so that they can be more susceptible to consumption and feel that they need to consume and become a part of the robotic numeric system that controls so much of the media. Through prayer, faith can be restored. We as a people are called to a greater purpose than ourselves. We are not only a beacon to the world, but we should be servants to each other, to encourage each other, to help each other, to lift up each other, our fellow Americans, that we may all prosper together. We have to act on faith with the sure knowledge that we are pursuing the right goals and doing the right things. We will build a stronger country by building stronger families. Families are the building blocks of society, of a nation. By turning to faith, we will be the kind of nation, the kind of people God intends us to be.